Hello everyone, this is Corey at security.org and today I'm going to talk all about home security camera video. Now, there are a ton of home security cameras out on the market and they all have different resolutions, different fields of view, and it can get a little bit confusing. So what do those specs, what do those numbers actually mean in the real world for keeping an eye on your space? I'm gonna help you make sense of all this by breaking down footage samples from some of the most popular home security cameras, 1080 options, 2K and 4K options at a variety of fields of view. So you can decide what may be the best fit for your particular situation. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. To begin today's lesson, what do you need to know about resolution? Well, 1080, 2K and 4K are essentially just referring to the amount of pixels that you have in your image. Now more pixels equals more information equals a better image quality. And generally I would agree with that, that a 4K image is going to look better than a 2K image. 2K image is going to look better than a 1080 image. Now a quick note on field of view, which is how much of the space your camera will be capturing. And these numbers really kind of are all over the place. A camera could be sub 100 degree field of view, which is not very much, or your camera could go all the way up to 180 degrees field of view, which is capturing essentially everything. I would say the median, about the average field of view that you see in home security cameras is about 120, 130. That's respectable. You're able to get a lot of what's going on in the space with that value. So what do all of these different resolutions look like? Well, I'm filming this video in 4K, so assume that all of this space is your 4K space. Well, 1080 or full HD is 1920 by 1080, and that just fills up a small portion of this 4K frame. Moving up to 2K, that's a pixel count of 2560 by 1440, so that's gonna be taking up slightly more of the frame. Then finally, you have the full frame 4K, and that is 3840 by 2160 pixels. So this gives you a better visual representation of what is actually meant by all those numbers that are thrown around when it comes to resolution. Now to be clear, any of the footage today that is sub 4K, I will be sizing up to fit the entire frame so that we can have a good comparison. But let's go take a look at that footage on my computer right now. All right, over at my desk here, we are going to check out all of this footage beginning with the 1080 footage. The first camera up to bat is the Wyze Cam V3. So here's the look on the Wise V3. Come walking into the guest room, have a seat on the futon, waving around a little bit. I think it looks pretty good, honestly, especially this is a budget device. Like the Wise Cam is, is very affordably priced and they do a pretty good job. You see how the vision pixelates a little bit as I move around, but it's quick to resolve itself. You see, I move around at a variety of distances from the camera and it does a pretty good job adjusting for that. Overall, this is pretty good 1080p. The next 1080 footage that we're taking a look at comes from the Nest IQ Outdoor. Now note that this is a super premium product. It's quite expensive. It actually has a 4K sensor in it. So 1080 footage, but a 4K sensor for whatever that's worth. So let's take a look and see what this is bringing to the table. Okay, so I have this camera placed in my front yard. There I am at the gate walking around the yard. You see my dog over there on the right hand side of the screen, chewing a stick as usual. Where you see I'm like really far out from the camera actually there, like probably like 20, 30 feet. And I come through really nice in this day vision. It definitely looks crispy. Walking up to the sidewalk there. I'm probably at about 10 feet away there. And look at that. It's a nice 1080 video quality, I think, from the Nest IQ Outdoor. And now the dog chasing will begin. Next, we have some footage from another Nest camera, the Nest Cam IQ Indoor. So indoor camera, 1080, 130 degree field of view as well. So let's, let's take a look. 
So here is the garage slash gym and you see me walking in and so far so good. I think that that is some solid 1080p. You notice that there's not really a whole lot of pixelation going on. Like you had sort of that buffering happening with the Wisecam V3, not really getting that, at least to my eye, with this footage from the Nest Cam IQ Indoor. So, I mean, that certainly tracks with the price that you're paying for this camera versus the price that you're paying for the Wisecam. Looking around, oh, I just saw the camera, wave into it, and there you have it footage from the Nest Cam IQ Indoor. Rounding out our look at the 1080 footage, we are checking out the Blink Outdoor. Now Blink is unique because it runs off of two AA batteries reportedly for two years. So that's really impressive. Let's see what kind of resolution we're getting here with this camera. And here's the look at that Blink Outdoor footage. Now to my eye, it does seem that it's a bit softer than some of the other 1080 footage that we've seen today. It's also a little bit washed out and the field of view is pretty narrow. It's 110 degree field of view on this Blink outdoor footage. Certainly still respectable. I think it looks, it looks pretty good, but it is notable that it is, it is slightly different than the other options that we've looked at for 1080. Now let's shift to 2K resolution and see what kind of image quality we're gonna get from that increase in the amount of pixels. Beginning with the Eufy 2K indoor right here. And this is a 125 degree field of view camera. And I will note that even though it's billed as 2K, the resolution is slightly less than that. The true resolution is 2304 by 1296 for your information. And here's a look at that 2K footage from Eufy. And I will say that I think it's pretty good. I like the color. I like how sharp it is. It's able to pick me up pretty well in this room with that 125 degree field of view. I will know that as I move around, you see how there is like a slight bit of distortion of pixelation. Once again, kind of resolves itself pretty quickly, but Here's the sample. What do you think of this 2K footage? Do you think there's a big difference between this and the 1080? The next 2K footage that we're gonna take a look at comes from the Arlo Pro 3. And what's really impressive about this camera is that it has a 160 degree field of view. So I've placed this in my yard and it's like, it's catching everything. Let's, let's take a look. In this first clip, you see me walking from the gate across the yard underneath the camera itself. And you see it's looking pretty respectable with that 2K look. And it is a 160 degree field of view. So you see that it's capturing the entirety of that front yard. Shifting to the second clip, I'm walking in the center of the yard there and I'm very, very far away from the camera and you see it's still doing a pretty good job. So what are your thoughts on this sample of 2K footage? Finally, let's take a look at some 4K home security camera footage. First sample from Lorex and this Lorex 4K home security camera. So here is the look that you're getting with that 4K resolution from the Lorex 4K camera. And I'll note that this camera specifically has a pretty low frame rate. So as I'm moving around the frame, you'll see that I'm a little choppy. But other than that, the detail is nice. As I go up there on the deck, everything in this image is pretty crisp to my eye, viewing it on a 4K display. As I move around the yard, the camera is able to adjust exposure, and I appreciate the fact that all the detail isn't lost in my dark clothing. There's a ton of resolution to work with here, but again, I will note that this camera only has a 98 degree field of view, so slightly limiting in that sense. Finally, the last piece of footage that we're gonna to see today is from the Arlo Ultra. This is also a 4K camera, and it has a very impressive 180 degree field of view. So here's the look that you're gonna get with the Arlo Ultra, that 4K resolution. And I think it is notable. I mean, just the amount of detail that you get in this image, you see from the grass below to the deck, to me wandering around like 30 feet away, it does a good job and there's just so much resolution to work with here. It's such a large image. Combine that with the fact that this camera is 180 degree field of view. You're able to capture everything 
really nicely. And it's, it's, it's even a wireless camera, which brings even more to the table. So really compelling 4K footage from Arlo. So there you have it, a broad selection of samples from various home security cameras, different resolutions, different fields of view. And you see that even within the same resolution, there's a ton of variability between what your video quality is actually going to look like on a per camera basis. So I hope this was helpful for you in understanding what might be the best option for your particular space. Generally, I'd say that it is nice to have those extra pixels available to you. Stepping up from a 1080 camera to a 2K or even 4K home security camera just gives you that much more information. Now, is it a guarantee that your image quality is gonna be better? No, but it is a consideration. Combine that with a super wide field of view and you can rest easy, have that peace of mind, knowing that you're gonna have an excellent look at whatever is happening on your property. Thanks for watching today's video, everyone. And I wanna know, what did you think of all of those footage samples? Is the 4K worth it? Is the 2K worth it? Or is 1080 just fine in today's day and age? Let me know in the comments below. And remember your source for all things home and digital security, head on over to security.org. We have research, guides, reviews, everything that you need to keep you and your family safe. You can find it there. Go check it out. And until next time, we'll see you in the next video.